Hi, welcome to Spokane Talks. I'm Jackson Adams. Today we're at the Milk Bottle up on Garland Street, and I'm joined by the owner, Tom Ritchie. Hi there. <laughs> welcome, Tom. Yeah. Uh, so this place has got a lot of history, been around since the 30s. So I've heard it's bounced around in ownership and a lot of stuff has happened. So kind of how did, how did it make its way to you? Uh, so it made its way to me. My parents had it for 20 years. Okay, very and then cool. me and my wife bought it three years ago. Okay, so, awesome. Yeah. So and fresh owner. Nice. Fresh owner, somewhat. It. It's in the family though, in the family. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so I've been working for my parents off and on for that whole time. <laughs> fair you enough, know what I mean? fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. What did it uh, originally start out as? Um, just a Benoit dairy in the early 1930s. Okay. Cool. You know what I mean? So it was just like a, just milk and the dairy. <laughs> dairy. Yeah. You know what I mean? The butter, or whatever. And then recently, like it changed over. Like you said, there was obviously, I think there was a bunch of different stores mm -hmm. after that. You know okay. what I mean? Like there was like an antique shop, a smoke <laughs> shop, like. So it's seen it all. Here. Yeah, yeah. There's been all sorts of different scenarios. Yeah, and this there's yeah. actually a sister milk bottle downtown. Correct? There is, yeah, and you know that's been a whole bunch of different things, like a masonry outfit, uh, <laughs> like a communications like office. So Very it's never cool. been like a restaurant. Right, straight up. Then. So it's seen a lot of things. Yeah. It's a diverse location, but always iconic with the yeah. milk bottle. Yeah, there was a third one, but it's no longer. And it was okay. in the Valley, South Hill area Okay. before before my time. Yeah. So I've, I've also heard there's been a couple yeah. movies shot here, some famous yeah. people. Yeah, in and out a bunch of different movies. There's, uh, yeah, uh, the recent one was with... Uh, <laughs> Dang it, forgot his name. Johnny Depp? That's no, Johnny heard. Depp, but there's one after that. He played in uh, like a Brothers. Uh, he was from, uh, I have to, I'd have to look it oh, up. Ah, no worries. Yeah. It's, it's good to know though, you guys are on the map. Yeah, 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 I guess there's, it's been good, you know, it brings a little bit, you know. Yeah, but, uh cool. Yeah, other than that, I'm just doing my thing, you know? <laughs> very cool, yeah. very cool. Um, and how did COVID treat you guys? Uh, not so good. I, uh, like everybody, honest, like everybody. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. 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 Uh, there's even big businesses. Oh, absolutely. Small businesses. I mean, there's people that are cut, uh, restaurants that have just shut down. Oh, you know? 100%. Yeah. Yeah, not going to make it, not going to do it. Obviously, uh, I had to go with 20% at the beginning and then uh, went to 50%, you know, and then still in here, you know, mask mandate and all Absolutely, that. So yeah. it's, uh, it's been rough. Uh, Did you guys do the takeout thing during COVID? Was that oh, yeah. helpful? Yeah, t takeout's always helpful and we have such a pretty good following, oh, okay. customer base. The community that, around you, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, I mean, it hurts, you know, not being Absolutely. able to have 100% capacity or, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, through that whole time. It's just, uh, it, I'm not going to say it wasn't a struggle. So, yeah. I mean, it's been rough. Yeah and, yeah, and now that we're on our way out of COVID, are you guys open back up completely? Are we yeah. ramping things yeah, back up? Yeah, we're ramping things back up as much as I can. I mean, you still have those customers out there that are um, cautious. Yeah, you know sure, what I mean? absolutely. So they're like... Uh, I'm not going to come out anyways. Uh, what if they're not vaccinated or he's not wearing his mask or, you know what I mean? So you get those. Um, Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So um, it's rough. Yeah. I Switching gears a little bit. I hear all your guys' ice cream is homemade. It is. It's all homemade. So, and that's, uh, you know, something that we thrive on. Everything's uh, homemade. You know, I make bread fresh everything's fresh but i going back to ice cream is i mean yeah that's our, our go-to you know what i mean like our shakes and that's, that's like creams. your thing that's, that's if, thing. if you're gonna come here you should get some ice cream yeah yeah for sure good enough, good enough. yeah and i gotta ask anybody hey, right. who has a sorry you're good anybody who has a restaurant right you check those buns please oh you already said it it goes early i'll still be uh six minutes yeah 
No Sorry. worries. That's a running restaurant right there. Yeah. It's, it's moving. Yeah. yeah. Um, you want to burn those buns. Hey, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. But uh, going back to ice cream, yeah, or shakes. I mean, we've been like, I don't know. It's been, we're always like top three on the end of ice cream and milkshakes. So, uh, I mean, everybody knows about the ice cream. So, which awesome. is a good thing, which is a good thing, yeah. But, you know, I believe in more than that. I'm like, okay, here, try this sandwich, you know, or try our, our bacon cheeseburger. Ooh. We have a special that's a uh, uh, milkshake, cheeseburger, and a fry, or any side Sounds you Sounds like all you need right there. That is <laughs> what you need. <laughs> it's good, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so like I said, I make, I make all of our bread, uh, not all of it, but our buns are homemade. And yeah, don't want to burn them. No, I want to burn them. No. Yeah. But yeah, other than that. Awesome. Awesome. Well, yeah. I'm glad to see you guys are kind of building back up, ramping up, getting better in the face of yep. COVID. And the last question I have for you is uh, favorite thing on the menu and favorite flavor of ice cream. Ooh. Wow. My favorite thing on the menu would probably just be a bacon cheeseburger. Plain and simple. Plain Cut and, and dry. Simple. Yeah. It's that good. Yeah, there's, I mean, I'm a believer in our Reuben. Our Reubens are good. We have cheesesteaks, sandwiches. So those are hard to beat sometimes. So I, I fluctuate, you know what I mean? I get to- Okay, you know, all right. I get to, a little hankering for yeah, something here, yeah. hankering for something there. All right, yeah, all right. So, but, and then as far as ice cream, man, it's, I probably would have to go with uh, Huckleberry. Whoa. But I'm a big believer. I like our lemon custard. Okay. So, and then everything else, obviously, it's, it's hard to beat. We have a River City Sludge. Ooh, it has okay. brownies and fudge and chocolate. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like the, the awesome. chocolate believer. You know what I mean? So, yeah, Perfect. everything's good. Yeah. Well, Tom, good. thanks. Guys, yeah. come down to the milk bottle. Grab yeah. some Huckleberry ice cream, bacon cheeseburger. Uh, thanks, Tom. Yeah, you're welcome.